Whoa, 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 whoa. Why y'all so happy? And you don't know. Charvette Mitchell is on the radio. It's time to get motivated, excited, and, and influenced. Why? It's the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show, live from Richmond, Virginia. And now, here to motivate, excite, and influence you, Charvette, Charvette Mitchell. Well, hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show, broadcasting from the capital city of Richmond, Virginia, but heard all across the world, wide web. OMG, we are so excited to be back here with you. Oh, my goodness, 2015 season opening show. We are excited, excited and ecstatic to have everyone that's tuning in, that's listening in from Twitter, from Facebook, from Shyvet.com, from my mobile app, and from all of our broadcast stations. We appreciate you here on the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. So listen, you know, you know the goal of my show is to motivate, excite, and influence, and today's guests are going to do just that for you. So opening up with us here in our first segment, she's back by popular demand, Brittany Wright, oh my goodness, is joining us back here in the virtual studio. Uh, listen, she has been described as stunning, creative, bold, captivating. Oh my goodness, she has just released a brand new project. Release party just happened. Fight for you. Uh, she has shared the stages with people like Shirley Caesar and Tone and Marette Brown Clark and Yolanda Adams, and the list could go on and on. And she's here today to talk to us about her new release and all that good stuff. And listen, we don't want you to go anywhere because in our second segment, we're excited because we have powerhouse. The two twin powerhouses you got to hear from, Marla and Marcia Pruitt. They're joining us. Listen, they're motivational speakers. They're transformational thinkers. And they have a program that will create an unrecognizable life for you. Oh, yeah, we're about to turn it into life class right here on the Charvette Mental Radio Show in our second segment. So you want to make sure you keep it locked. Uh, so, listen, we're going to roll right on into our first segment again. I'm excited to have hanging out in the virtual studio with me, Brittany Wright. Oh, my goodness. Love her, love her, love her. Let me just go ahead and bring her up to the mic right now. Brittany Wright, welcome to the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. Charvette, thank you so much for having me. I am elated to be here with you guys tonight. Oh, well, we're excited to have you and to chat with you. Wow. So can you, if this week a week where you can kind of like take a, a breather because you've had the release party? No, this is where all the work starts. Like, you do all the work for the release, and you think you get uh-huh. a little bit of a break. It, it really feels like 15 minutes in real life, because um, <laughs> now the work starts. Now it's now the, the work, work to starts. get the message out. Yes. Yes. Okay, so tell us, Fight for You. Uh, tell the listeners yes. how you came up with that title. Um. Well, it's actually one of the songs on the project. And we actually finished the song like two years ago, but mm-hmm. I didn't know what I wanted to title the album. And it wasn't until the album was really near completion that God really kind of set it up what I wanted to title the album. Um, this past year has just been a very difficult year for me. I mean, and speaking to a lot of my friends and a lot of co-laborers and ministry and, and things like that, 2014 was really rough for a lot of people. Yeah. But this year I really decided that, um, well, didn't decide, but I was going through so much, and I had to take a second to stop and to put my focus where it needed to be, which is on God. And when he let me um, kind of sit and be still for a minute, I realized that I was searching so many different places for the solution to all the things that were going wrong in my life. And I was fighting for my peace. I was fighting for sanity, and I was fighting for friendships and relationships and I was fighting for all these things but I was leaving God out of the equation and that's why I wasn't Mm. getting any peace anywhere and when I took a second to just stop and just start pursuing and chasing after God more that that's when that peace came that's when that contentment in God came and when I started chasing and fighting after God more than all those material things and people that may have fallen away that's when things started to line up in the will that God had for my life and for this project. And it just clicked and made sense. And, and listening through to the album, when that song came on again, I said, this yeah. has got to be the title of the album. This is where I am. So that's where we went with it. 
Wow. Thank you. Thank you for being transparent. And really what people a lot of times don't take into account is that artists, you know, are just not just singing these pretty songs, that they had to live through a lot of this stuff. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is this has been a rough year where I really had to trust God in every aspect of my life. And, you know, you get into those seasons where you're you're around friends and people that you never thought you would lose. If you have material things you never thought would, you know, would be destroyed or things like that. And, and you know, you really had to lean on God completely and solely depend on him. So I think everybody has that season in their life, and this was mine. And, and All right. you know, God allowed us to birth this album, so. Wonderful. And I know that many listeners will relate to it. And just your sound, I have have been a fan of yours for a while. And everything that I have heard from you is just so crisp. It's so on point. It's just it's just flawless. I know hashtag flawless is like, you know, the trend. But, I mean, it's it's so, you know, and honestly, I was thinking today, um, you are the type of artist that, I, I, it's hard to even put you in a genre box. I know, you know, there's boxes mm-hmm. we have to put people in, but it's really hard to put you in in a in a box because I feel like your music is is one of those types of things where like if someone just got saved and they're used to li- mm-hmm. listening to hip hop and they're used to listening to R&B, like your music right. is like perfect for that audience. But then your music is perfect for the person that's been in church 25 years, you know, so mm-hmm. It's, it's just awesome. It's awesome. And one thing I, I want to point out is that you are not just one of those artists that's just out with doing gigs. You serve mm-hmm. in your local church. Talk about how important Absolutely. that is to serve in your local church. Absolutely. I mean, I'm I am the praise and worship leader at um, Community of Hope in Temple Hills, Maryland. Um, I'm at church every Sunday for three services. <laughs> Gig or not, the night before I'm at, I'm in place every Sunday and on Thursdays for five hours. So I've been blessed to have a pastor that is very, very supportive. Um, and also to have a minister of music that has my back and is very supportive as well. My minister of music just happens to be the executive producer of my album. Um, and uh, I, I just think a lot of artists sometimes lose the connection fact of having uh, someone to submit to. And uh, I mean, I'm a PK. So, you know, that's one thing that I would never kind of try, try to stray away from. I've tried to do it, like not go to church right. and all that, and it's just not, it's just not me. But it <laughs> means so much when you have a place where you can be rooted and grounded and you can be um, shown back into all that you give out in ministry. It means a lot to have that place. And then you need to learn how to have a servant heart because before I even decided to put an, an album out, I served alongside ministry for, you know, a lot of artists that we know and, and love and play their music every Sunday. And I wasn't looking for accolades or anything. I was just looking to serve. And in doing yeah. that at my local church, I'm still doing that. What do you guys need? What do we need to do in order to maximize or whatever, whatever my minister needs or, needs or whatever my pastor needs or whatever, you know, we're still in that capacity of serving. It's so important to submit to a pastor. And I think sometimes when people do the limelight of the artistry, they forget about that, that you need to have a relationship for yourself, and you definitely need a pastor covering you while you're out on the road doing all these different things. You need someone to submit to. It's so important. Absolutely, absolutely. And you've really got the spirit of Jesus because before he took his last few steps to the cross, he kind of grounded those around him and said, I, I came to do two things. I came to serve and to give my life. But the first thing, Absolutely. he said, I came to serve. So that, you've got Thank his you heart. Serve. All right, artists, you hear it here live. You're getting some tips. You're getting some tips <laughs> from Brittany Wright. <laughs> yes, do it, please. <laughs> yes, and, you know, it's so, it's so, I can see how it can be particular potentially difficult for those that have a gift and people are applauding Mm -hmm. them and, you know, clapping it to get the big head, you know, sometimes people just get the big head by accident. You know what? It's easy, Charvette. When you have people, everybody around you is smiling and is pumping you with praise and stuff and, and, and everything is good. Everything is great. Those moments make me very nervous. Mm, to be perfectly mm-hmm. honest with you, it, it, they just make me very nervous. And it makes me say, okay, let me get myself on guard. Let me start praying now because something is getting ready to blow because this is not good. And I don't want to feel like I'm on this, this high 
and, and something comes and catches me off guard because I'm so full of myself, I can't focus on what God is, is doing and trying to show me. You know, those moments are very, very sensitive. You have to be very cautious with, with those moments. But it, it's easy. When everybody's loving yeah. you, it's easy. But it's just, it's very, it makes my nerves bad. I just, I have to be like, yeah. oh, something's going on. Let me cut my break. But it's also yeah. important to have people around you that yeah. will help to ground you as well. I have a great team. My my my, my label is uh, with this Writers Block Music Group as well as my uh, singers and band and management team. I have people around me that are very honest. They're very praying people and people that have relationships on their own, but they're very um, they they're praying people. <laughs> yeah, and they are not afraid to be honest with me and let me know when you know, hey, you know, you need to come down right here or. You didn't handle that situation the best way. You've got to have people that's not just going to be yes men. They need to be honest with you. All right. Have some honest people around you, listeners. There you have it from Brittany Wright. Uh, if you just tuned in, mm-hmm. we say, hey there, welcome to the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. We're broadcasting from the capital city of Richmond, Virginia, but heard all across the world. Wow, web. Brittany, while uh, listeners are tuning in, tell them how they can follow you on Twitter and Instagram. They can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and I am Brittany Wright. I kept it simple for all three. Follow me, tweet me, Facebook, Instagram me. It's all me. It's coming straight to me. So when you get a response, it's me. So I am Brittany Wright. All right. There you go. Okay. So tell me, and I know it's kind of hard to pick favorites, but do you have any favorites or maybe a couple uh, singles that you want to kind of call out about the project and tell our listeners about? Oh man, um, oh, I have a couple of favorites on the album. I must be honest. Um, <laughs> I guess if I can call out any of them, there's a song um, called "Satisfied" that I wrote with um, again my executive producer Philip Bryant and one of um, my label mates. I'm saying it's in your face. He's a, a crazy anointed um, a Christian rapper, but he's also a writer as well. Um, and we wrote that song together. Um, kind of has that um, quartet, maybe 70s kind of feel, mm-hmm. um, Sam Cook type of feel. Feels good like that. Um, but it's just talking about being satisfied with Jesus. And it's just, it's a fun song to sing, but it's a very simple message that helps to connect really quickly. Um, there's a song called I Came to Bless the Lord, um, which is like praise and worship, but my way. Um, very simple message, very simple lyrics, but it's easy to catch. And uh, the last song is just a song called um, You Can. Um, gosh, You Can. And it's just an inspirational message just for all of those times when you feel like you can't do something. Yeah. You have people telling you what you can't do and, and, and who you won't be and who you can't be. They have no idea the destiny that was ordained before you were even created. So you got to tell yourself sometimes that you can no matter what it looks like. And, and that's what that song is about. And and then I guess the last one, and this is, this is my last one, I guess, if I can say the favorite. It's called In Spite of It All. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> and that song was actually written by D.B. Powell. And um, it, it's amazing. It's, it's just one of my favorite songs. I, those are my favorites. If I have to pick favorites, but it's actually really an incredible project. My, my team, um, my label, and Writers Lock Music, they really did an amazing job helping me to put this album together. So I've really been blessed, and I can't wait to hear what your listeners have to say about it. Absolutely. Well, listen, I just jumped over to your Twitter page because those that were at the release, they got the project in their hands. So, listen, um, I'm going to do some live reviews uh, at Music Head, and he has the I is a one. Uh, he put, man, I love the whole project, Brittany Wright, writing, great writing, stellar production, and as always, vocals are crazy good. Oh, my goodness, another wow. review, uh, Ryan Dante, thanks to E-Music. I got the new Brittany Wright Fight For You record. I'm in heaven. She's my fave since day one. Wow. One more, one more. Um, let's see here. At vocal, looks like underscore intellect. He said, Brittany, 
right did her good singing on Wonders to Perform. <laughs> oh, man. And it's just, it keeps going. So, listeners, definitely check out um, Brittany on Twitter. And I've tagged her uh, on Twitter. So, I know you're following me, twitter.com slash Charvette. Easy connection point right there. So, um, that's awesome. awesome to have that immediate feedback, right? Wow. That, that's a blessing. I've missed so much. So, thank you. One. Now, what is the performance? Actually, a song that I sang on JJ's uh, JJ Harrison's new album. I'm a member of Youthful oh. Praise. It's people that let, let my listeners get to know. But yeah, that's actually a song I sang with JJ. But thank you. <laughs> well, thank and you, JJ Harrison. If you're listening, Youthful Praise family. Hey guys. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Wonderful. Do you, now? Do you write any of your music as well? I do. I actually co-wrote the. Um, almost every song, almost every song on the album with um, either members of um, my writer's block team, uh, my label, or with, you know, the executive producer, Philip Bryant, uh, on my yeah. album. We either wrote the songs together or maybe he wrote a song here or I wrote a song or Inga, you know, came in and helped us write. But, yeah, I wrote on at least every single song on the album. Wonderful, wonderful. And I remember the last time you were with us, uh, you told us how uh, Marvin Sapp heard you sing a song uh, at a service. Yes. I don't know how long ago this was, and he he was like, "Hey, I need that song." So that's that's the song. Right? I'm, it's coming back to me now. It's coming back to me now. Yes, yes. I right. went. It was a song. It was the title track for his last album. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, wonderful. Now, would you say um, the sound of this project is vastly different than from your first project? Or are there similarities? Kind of what? How do you see the differences or the similarities um, in your project? I, I I would say that you would see growth. I think that they're mm, okay. they're um, two different um, two different sounds. But it's just the beginning, I believe, was just that. I think it was just the beginning. And, um, you know, and this, it's been four years since I put that album out. So guys allowed me to have some life experiences and, you know, to deal with a couple of things. And, and he allowed me really to be transparent on this album. And, again, working with the team that I was working with, you know, they really pushed me beyond what I thought that I could do vocally. And mm. because of that, we were able to really grow and groom this project. And, and even though it's been four years since I put my last album out, we actually took our time over the last two years. And we put a, a what I think is a very um, mature project together. But like you said, I believe that it is something on there for everybody. But even if you're a new Christian or if you have been in church all your life, I think that you'll be yeah. able to connect with, if not everything, a few things on the album that can say, wow, like, I've been where she is, I know where she, you know, I, I've been there, or I'm there right now, or, you know, something like that, but this, this album definitely shows growth in the vocals as well as maturity in the writing, definitely. All right, wonderful, wonderful. So, the question on all of our listeners' minds certainly is, mm -hmm. when can they get a hold of it? Uh, well, we, of course, did an exclusive release for everybody who was at the CD release. Um, and we will be dropping to, of course, all digital outlets very, 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 very soon. Um, all right. But if you guys would like to get a copy of the album, I want you to blow my label up. And they are um, info at Writers Block Music Group dot com, and you blow them up, or go to our uh, Instagram page, which is uh, WBMG uh, is that Instagram. Go right there to them, uh, WBMG um, at Instagram, of course, and blow them up. Let them know that you guys want the album. We will get it out to you guys. We will send it to uh -huh. you guys. And I'm sorry, it's WB Music Group. I'm sorry. WB Music Group, blow them up and let them know that you guys want the album, and we will get it to you. But blow them up, let them know that that's what you guys want to hear. And we will get All it to right. you because I'm very interested to hear what people think of it. Wonderful. There you have it. There you have it, listeners. Uh, okay, so tell our listeners one more time how they can connect with you on Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, it's I am Brittany Wright. Shoot me a tweet, shoot me a Facebook, Instagram, whatever. It's me. Hit me up, guys. I am Brittany Wright. 
All right, very simple. My last question for you, the goal of my show is to motivate, excite, and influence, and we want to know what continues to motivate you. Oh, that's so good, Chavit. Um, (laughs) You know what? What what motivates me is that every day I'm just striving to be a better person and asking God to expose me to those things that don't please him so that I can ultimately be a better me. Oh, wow, that's good, a better me. So not the focus on anyone else. It's just like I'm going to focus yep. on me. There yeah, you have it. I think show me, show me those things that don't please you so I can change those to make him happy instead of people pleasing because that was one of, my, yeah. one of my weaknesses that I was doing. So that's what I'm mm-hmm. working on right now. That's what's motivating me to be a better person. All right, that's good stuff. That's good stuff right there. All right, listeners, listen, you heard from Brittany Wright. You heard live from her. You heard her heart, all that good stuff. We're going to let you hear uh, everything. We're going to let you hear everything yes. uh, by Brittany Wright. Again, Brittany, thank you so much for stopping by the show. Thank you, Charvette, for having me. It's always fun being here with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. All right, listeners, here we go. Everything by Brittany Wright. But I want to believe it'll be okay, yeah Sometimes what I see interrupts what I hear from you, yeah Sometimes I believe my faith is replaced by the fear to lose Hey, today I made a decision to put myself in position For you to blow my imagination and go above what I dreamed of
Wow. I don't know what you all are doing, but listen, I am in this studio here jamming. OMG. That was Brittany Wright. Everything. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love her energy. I love her spirit. So we're going to keep supporting her. Uh, and we've been tagging her. Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. Instagram. Uh, and we are going to keep our eye out on Brittany Wright. Listen, we're going to keep the energy high. We're going to keep the energy going because in our second segment, uh, my guests are hanging out in the virtual green room right now. So I know they're enjoying uh, virtual snacks, but we're going to be talking to twin powerhouses. Yes, plural. Marla and Marcia Pruitt. And I'm telling you what, they are thought leaders. They help you with transformational thinking. They are motivational speakers. Yes, and they're actually real twins. And we're going to talk to them today. Uh, Oh my goodness, I'm telling you, keep the energy high. Don't move. We're going to go to a commercial break and then we will be back with our second segment featuring the dynamic, the powerhouses themselves, the Pruitt twins. Don't you go anywhere. It's the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. Charvette will be back after this. Spiritual Food for Thought, 31 inspirational quotes to jumpstart your day by LaTanya Boyd consists of inspirational messages that offer daily words of empowerment, Promote spiritual growth and development in the Lord Jesus Christ for your day-to-day living. Spiritual Food for Thought, 31 inspirational quotes to jumpstart your day. Available now on Kindle, ebook, and paperback. Log on to www.letiboyd.com. Does your church or ministry have a website? Are you a local artist or author that has an established web presence? If you answer no to any of these questions, you're letting countless opportunities pass you by. Hi, I'm Charvette Mitchell. Mitchell Productions was created with your needs in mind. We will provide you with stylish and economical online marketing solutions. From email marketing to your own website, Mitchell Productions caters to ministries, nonprofits, small businesses, and special events. Check out our portfolio at Mitchell-Productions.com. In today's world, a website is not a luxury. It's a necessity. And Mitchell Productions can create your website in a stylish manner at a very economical price. Don't let business, customers, or new congregation members pass you by. Visit Mitchell Productions today at www.Mitchell-Productions.com. Let us showcase your organization to the world. Virtual book tours is one of the best ways to get your book noticed by potentially thousands of new readers. BAB Virtual Tours staff will walk you through the process of embarking on a virtual tour for your book, business, music, and or ministry, providing simple but yet effective strategies for getting your product and your message in front of thousands. Sign up for a free consultation, www.latboyd.com. Hello, we are 123jobzone.com, an online job search portal. We are user-friendly, and if you're searching for a job, with us, it's easy as 123. Step 1, go to www.123jobzone.com and register as a job seeker. Step 2, once registered, upload your resumes. Step 3, get connected with employers looking for people like you who are ready and willing to work. Don't forget to follow 123 Job Zone on Twitter and Facebook to find out more about our upcoming job fairs. What are you waiting for? Stop by 123jobzone.com today. Good luck with your job search. She's here to motivate, excite, and influence you. She's Charvette Mitchell. Charvette Mitchell. It's the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show with in-depth interviews from today's leading author, gospel artists, stars that you want to know about. And now, Charvette Mitchell. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back again to the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. Listen, we're broadcasting from the capital city of Richmond, Virginia, but heard all across the world wide web. Big shout out to all those that are tuning in on the phone lines. We see you. Welcome those that are coming in from Twitter, from Facebook, from my mobile app, 
from where else? Oh, my goodness, just all across the World Wide Web and certainly all of our broadcast stations. So, listen, we're going to keep it moving right now into our second segment, and I am bringing my guests uh, up to the mic. Let me just tell you, the twin powerhouses are here, Marla Pruitt and Marcia Pruitt Coleman. Uh, they are thought leaders in transformational thinking. Together, they are motivational speakers. They are dream architects. They are a dynamic force. OMG. They have a women's empowerment series called Cupcakes and Conversations. They have a special program that's called Get there, it together, uh-huh, that will help you have an unrecognizable life. Hashtag unrecognizable life 2015. If you've been following them, you've seen it all over Twitter and over Facebook. I'm bringing them up to the mic right now. Coming to the mic right now, Marla and Marcia, welcome to the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. Hey there, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you well, I'm glad to have that. the powerhouse twins. <laughs> I'm more than glad to be here the first of 2015. I'm telling you, your energy is off the chain, and we love it. Love. Oh, you, we got to keep it high. Yes. yes we got to keep it high. And listen, I've seen y'all on YouTube, so I know how you roll. I know y'all got energy <laughs> as well. <laughs> We've been told. We've been told. We've been told. <laughs> we'll own it. We'll own it, right? We'll just own we it. We own it. I own it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's start it. I'm sure everyone always asks about the twin, uh, the twin <laughs> Phenomenon. So I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, you know, being <laughs> twins, what are, what are the pros and the cons of being a twin? Ooh, well, okay, I'll go first. I'm Marcia since I'm the oldest. Don't you <laughs> yes, since I knew you were going to go oldest. first anyway. <laughs> of course. You no, know, you know what? A lot of times, it's, it's, well, just in general, you always have somebody growing up. You know, and for us, that's all we know is being a twin. So for us, it's like the norm. So when people ask us that, we're thinking, well, it's the same as you, I guess. But we know that it's not. But in business yeah. and in life and in fulfilling purpose, it is probably one of the best things ever. We get told a whole lot um, from others. You're so lucky to have someone with you in business. You're so lucky as an entrepreneur that you have someone to work with you. And, yeah. and it does make a big difference. But, you know, there is that flip side, right, Marla? <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Thank you for being all nice, giving the nice part. We yeah, I get a nice part. When we started out, our brand, we kind of tagged our brand as Dysfunction Squared, and we would cross out the D-Y-S and capitalize the F-U-N because we think that we're becoming experts at navigating through this function because the first part about being twins, you can uh-huh. have one extreme or the other. You know, and, and, and people don't understand. People think, oh, you guys are best friends, which we are, and we love each other and we have fun. But because we've been, look, we were roommates. So we've been roommates from the jump. We've been roommates. We've been roommates. We, we know each <laughs> other so well. So it's a gift. I don't want to say curse, but it can be or, or against you because we can get in each other's way. We can, we uh-huh. can sometimes yeah. be a little bit more hard on each other mm-hmm. because it's kind of yeah. like talking to self. And we say stuff to each other. We we, we wouldn't dare say to anybody else because what's right. going to do? Or right. <laughs> right. You know, and so you know, we we're working through. We still work through. I mean, we, even with our business, we don't agree all the time. And so uh-huh. one of us just hang up and say, "Forget it." And then, um, you know, we're like, "Okay, I gotta call her back. I don't want to be the first to call her back, but we gotta call her." <laughs> I'm always the first. I'm always. Oh, you always the first. Okay, that's a real talk. That's a real talk. Don't listen. Don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't buy into it. Okay, okay. No, but, so, but no, yeah. I, I love it. I love it. Thank you for that transparent moment there. And, and so let's talk about how you all got into motivational speaking because certainly still as twins, you all have your own individuality, your own mindset, mm-hmm. your own goals, you know, and it's hard enough for one person to decide, okay, I want to stand up right. in front of people and talk. How did you all together decide, okay, well, we, we need to, we have something to say to people. How did you get into motivational speaking? Well, I was doing it first, and Marcia wanted to copy me because she always. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, honestly, um, you know what? Both of us, 
let me, we always tell this story. Let me tell you this little story. You know, from growing up, you know, you know how when you're in elementary school, and we were very smart children. I mean, hello, Marla? Oh, I hello? think she stepped out of the virtual studio. I'm sure she will join us back. Okay, well, I Do you will, want to I finish the story? the story? <laughs> yeah, I'll tell the story. We were smart children. I know where she was going. And we were always Here. talkers. You know how you get the... You know, okay, she's right. back. We're good. Here we okay, go. I'm all so right. sorry. You know, we were, we were talkers, but we always got all A's, all A's and a couple of B's here and there. But you know how you had on the other side where you had conduct or you had handwriting, we would always get S, 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 and then we would get the N in talking. Well, fast forward a few years in high school, you know how you have senior superlatives and you want uh-huh. to be most likely to succeed or best dress or cutest or whatever. I'm just thinking we we don't get best dress at least. You know, or she can get that, or I'll get most likely to succeed. Well, they act hold wow. us, and they just take a photo, and you want to know what it was? It was what? most talkative. Most talkative. They never had that in the years before. So we were like, we were kind of insulted, but whatever. We had to roll with it. <laughs> so it's right. always been there. You know, fast forward, right. we both have our families. We both went to school together. We grow up, grow apart. I have kids first. She got married and all of that. But then we, about a few years ago, about three or four years ago, like we know that we were born twins for a purpose. For a purpose. We just don't believe go. anything's happened. So we just kind of we were all we, professionally. You know, I'm I'm an educator. We both worked in the field of education. We both were professional trainers. We both were always used to in front of people, and we both knew the impact that we left with people, and we knew the influence we had in, with people. And people just always like to hear us talk. They they always say, you guys are crazy. Your family can have a reality show. I can listen to y'all talk all day. And right. so it just kind of came together when we started really trying to walk in purpose. What was our purpose? And it just it worked doing it together. It worked yes. when we speak. You know, people claim that we finish each other's sentences when we're on stage. We don't do it intentionally, but, you know, we are so in sync with each other. It just works. It and just so, you know, works. I think we're just following the path just that works. God has given us, and, and it's, here we are. I love it. I love it. And if it's working, let's keep working the working stuff. Yep. <laughs> if it ain't broke, let's keep working. That's right. That's right. And so one of the things that you all talk about, one of your kind of signature uh, programs, you talk about finding your it factor, your IT factor. Talk a little bit about that. Okay. Well, we start out, it for us means your internal truth. And, of course, to walk in your purpose, you have to go within. You have to see what was there? What was there when you were born? You were, we were all born with it. God gave it to us when we were born with it. It's up to yeah. us to find it. And a lot of times, until we go with him, because we'll go through life, we'll do, we'll go on a certain path that we've kind of been conditioned and programmed to do, which is in and, in and of itself not bad, but we'll choose things and we don't really, you know, how many doctors do you know or well, I know a lot of doctors and lawyers who become those those awesome professions, but found out that's not really who they really wanted to be. Mm-hmm. So I, I have guitar playing lawyers who really on the side really want to be musicians. You know, when they look within, they find out what makes them tick. They look at their marinade, the things that happen, their experiences, and they find out their in, intimate truths, their authenticity. And you have to go there before you can really understand and walk in your purpose. So our process is geared to helping you find your it factor because we all have it. And we like we tell you, get it together. And get it so together. That's what we do. And so this year, 2015, we're taking that it and we're, we're holding people accountable because a lot of times we'll know what our it factor is, but we'll sit on it because we have every excuse in the world. We, we have the why not and the why not I can't. And we help them get them to, yes, and let's do this. And you know what? This is so perfect because we're at the beginning of the year. Resolutions exactly. have been made, or even if right. people haven't made a conscious resolution, we, everyone right. kind of feels like the slate has been wiped clean right. and I'm starting right. fresh. You know, what but do you want? I'd love thing. to hear from both of you. I'd love to hear your, your take on that, resolutions and all that kind of stuff. Here's the thing with resolutions. 8% of people actually follow through and keep their resolution. Think about that. Only 8% of people. And you want to know why? Because people don't 
have the support they need. We have been trying to do things on our own, and that's what we want people to know. It is time out for you to try to do things alone. you got to have a community. you got to have a tribe. And it's all about accountability. Most people yeah. quit because they don't have anybody holding them accountable, letting them know when it gets hard, because it will, or when it gets not hard. Let me change my words. When it gets challenging, and it will get challenging because we got life. But you yeah. gotta keep through because there are times when you're going to be weak in your mind, and when you, and your feelings are messing with you, and you got people. You got to be positive. You got to just think, and you you're thinking, well, I don't want to be. I'm not feeling that. Well, we gotta right. have somebody that's gonna allow you for a second to go through it, but gonna hold you accountable to get back in there. That's gonna hold you right. accountable. To do this this week towards your goal. What right. did you do towards and, your goal and, this week? And the thing for us is. It's that time of year and their new year, but for us, new year is every day. You have, right. a, you have an opportunity every single day, and it's great because, you know, technically the new year doesn't start in January. This is springtime, but and it's, I think it's an awesome thing for people to take time, even if it's a, January 1st, to uh-huh. resolve to do things different. But it's okay. Like she said, only 8% are going to keep them. Okay, because you have if if you if you wake up every day, you have mm-hmm. a new opportunity to make a resolution. I don't right. know if you know back two thousand thirteen and fourteen, we were we were the vision board experts, and we still are. Right. But mm-hmm. That was our primary focus, just the vision board, because they work. But we're all about writing that vision, which is a resolution for us. Is writing out right. your vision for you. Don't resolve to do something just because. Mm-hmm. Right. You got to. You still got to find that it. It's got to match up with your destiny, with your purpose to me. Right. To live a better life. Even if it's something, even if it's about eating healthy, it's still got to match up. You know, yeah, I was talking about right. today, I need to lose. Marla's really good at it, working out. Here I am motivating people, knowing I'm not in my, my optimal health. Uh-huh. How am I going to motivate you in that area and I don't have this area together? So right. for me, it's all about everything lining up to my purpose. Right. Even the, the, the health, the weight. The resolution, but, everything you want to do. But you got to have a made-up mind, and you can't have a made-up mind until mm-hmm. you get a transformed mind. The, the problem with resolution, people not keeping them, I already said it's because you're not accountable. But the, 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 honestly, the reason why people don't commit to their resolve, to their mm-hmm. resolutions, they're not resolved enough, is because their minds haven't really been transformed. Because you can you can be hyped and talk and have a good feeling about the new year, the slate is clean, I'm going to do this this year, but if you're going into it with the same old thinking, the same old mindset, the same Mm -hmm. negativity, the same quitting spirit, I call it, you know, quitting, 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 you know, I tell people all the time, you got to push past quit. Yeah. You feel like quitting, you got to push past that. If you can push past quit, if you can get out of your feelings, you can do it. You can do Anything mm-hmm. you put your mind to. And that's what we like to help people do. Push past your quit. We're not going to let you. We don't do anything for people. We don't hope. We don't work for you. We don't come up with your. You, everybody is a creator. Yes. Everybody has so much creativity. And I don't think people realize how creative each one of us really is. We're going to let you discover what your creativity is, what your strengths are. But we're going to make sure you are are. You got a plan. You're working your plan. Let's see what we can do different. Here are some resources to help you. I think you should go this direction. You don't have to. Let me tell you what worked for us. Let me tell you why you got to stop speaking this way. Change your thoughts. You know, you got to wake up setting intentions for every single day, whether you feel like it or not. My is right. really good at not letting me have pity parties because I'm the uh-huh. one that likes to have a little more pity than parties in Marcia because I Ooh, like to stay in my feelings a little bit more than Marcia. Uh-huh. I'm saying her parents. Resolutions are great. You know, people are like, we ain't making no new resolutions. People don't keep them anyway. I tell people, if you got people who are saying that, then tell them, okay, God bless you. But as for you, I think resolutions are good. They're, they're well good said. Things. Good thing. Listeners, listen, I know I told y'all earlier we were transforming this into life class. So I know you feel like you're sitting in life class virtually right now. Uh, while they are listening, tell them how they can connect with you all on Twitter, uh, your main website, Facebook, all that good stuff. Okay. 
Okay. Our main website is www.thepruittwins.com, and Pruitt is P-R-U-I-T-T-E, so The Pruitt Twins. And all of our social media handles are The Pruitt Twins, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn. We're The Pruitt Twins. So they're easy to find us. All right, there you go. And I've tagged them on Facebook and tweeted as well, so easy connection points. All right, so I've been seeing your hashtag, uh, hashtag unrecognizable life 2015, and you all are on a, a really a mission to help people create an unrecognizable life. That is a huge um undertaking to say yes. you can have a life that you don't even recognize. I want yes. both of you to talk about that. Yeah. And she, I'm you know so what, excited. And I'm going to let you talk, it Marcia. It is exciting. She <laughs> let I'm going to let you talk, Marcia. <laughs> yeah, she's going to let me talk, and that's often. Awesome. Right. But the thing about it is, it's, it's, it oh, yeah. sounds like a huge undertaking, but the fact of the matter is, it takes one step. Marla mm-hmm. was speaking to it a few minutes ago. It takes Two years ago, you could not have paid me to believe, well, no, I take that's a tale because I, I've always had a good belief, but, but I couldn't have believed that I would have gotten where I was in the amount of time that we've gotten here because we believed, we did the work, and took the step that it took to get there. And a lot of times it just it took somebody lighting that fire upon us or the resources or just doing one thing every single yeah. day to make it unrecognizable. And for some people, unrecognizable could be just finishing that master's. It could wow. be getting that promotion. Mm-hmm. It could be becoming a better mother. It could be, be becoming a speaker. You've been behind the computer, but now you want to get on the stages. You know, so what we're we're out to do is to, to gain clarity first mm-hmm. on what it is they really want to do, and then just hold their hands in the process and hold them accountable for it. Because and here, and here's, here's long, the thing. It's time out for simply existing. It's time to yes. start living life. We have so much life. There's so much to do. I tell people, yeah. people we get stuck in this rut of going to work, coming home, feeding the kids, running to this game, doing it again. And we only live two days out yeah. of the week, and that's Saturday and Sunday. We only truly live because we don't have to go to work. But <laughs> I think that's a sad existence that we yeah. try to fit in a life in two days a week. That should not be where we're trying to fit in a a fulfilled, healthy, well-rounded life in two days. And most of those times you're trying to rest because you're so tired in the other five days. That's not. And most of the time, that's that's not even a. It's not even a weekend. It's 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 two days off. You know, weekends are like I'm gonna go to the lake. I'm gonna go to my mountain house. I'm gonna go. Most of us, (laughs) most of us, it is two days off. (laughs) And that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. Right. And y'all know what I mean by most of us. Yes, yeah. yeah. yeah, I do. And you, and, 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 you know, we, we get off of work on Friday like, oh, God, Monday be here before you know it. It's just two days off. That's all it is. Right. <laughs> right. And, and, then, and then don't let us miss uh, some five of those days. We in trouble. Talk about not having a weekend. You're not going to have a week. You know, so we got to get to the point where life is much more meaningful, and we can do that. And people yeah. need to understand you can do that. If, if you're worth it, you're worth it. You're worth it. Now, you all have a program or have something coming up. Uh, tell us about what you have, an event, or you have something coming up related to this. Tell us about it. Yes, right. we have what is called the Unrecognizable Life 2015 Boot Camp. It's a mastermind. It is one of our most affordable programs that we have offered, and you really can't, you really can't afford not to do this. And we have people sign up. And what we do is we walk with you for 12 months. Now, we walk with you. We don't do the work. But for wow. those who are really serious about changing their lives, we have some mm-hmm. ideas. You know, who needs somebody to help just kind of brain, maybe branching out or, or jumping into the deep um, right. and starting a business. Or they may have already right. started a business. And they need somebody to help them get a little clarity. Somebody, we're going we're gonna to deal with you on each month. We have a program to where we, we hold you accountable. Right. We give yeah, you some actually, invaluable resources. Right. And we're going we're, we're gonna to have some virtual vision board parties. You know, we love vision right. boards. You're going to get some things from that as well. You're going to get an affirmation because we, we believe in affirmation, setting intentions every single right. day. 
We're going to give them tools to be successful at it because we know right. if you can do something for 21 days, you can get a good habit. But we also that's know right. life happens, and, you know, when you're doing things alone. And, see, that's our benefit, and that's one of the things that we have with each other. So when we when one of us gets down, we have the others that come on, let's let's do this, let's do this. And a lot yeah. of times people don't have that. So we're gonna right. leave that for for others. Say, come on, don't okay, have last anybody they can this. talk to or be honest right. about it or or I'm scared or I can do as well this month. They don't have anybody right. because their family a lot of times your family your your vision is not your family. So it's hard trying to get your family to see your vision and buy into it, and then you get frustrated when your family and your close friends are not buying into your vision. But we want you to know, all right, we got you. We get you because we are you. So you got us. So this time next year, by walking through this program, you ought to be taking the steps to where your life doesn't look the same. Something needs to be different. You're living life more on your own terms, and it's more right. fulfilled. We call a fun life. A fulfilled, unmatched, and unmatched necessary, and necessary life. life. Yeah, and so that's All what right. I love it. Twelve month program. You can uh-huh. go to our website. Go to unrecognizable life two thousand and fifteen dot com. Unrecognizable life two thousand and fifteen dot com. Get more information on the program. Sign right. up today. You can sign up any month of the year, but let's start now. We're going to start on the fifteenth of January with our group. We're going to have a little Facebook group where we come and meet and talk to each other. You can share. Probably and get daily support, is right? And get support from other people. So Wonderful. Yes. There you go. There you have it. Your personal invitation, listeners, your personal invitation. Um, so awesome. I wanted to ask you, one of the titles in your bio says Dream Architects. I haven't heard or seen that. Well, how do you – tell us about how you describe – why that you chose those words to describe one of the things or part of what you do. Okay. That's exactly what it was like. It was like yeah, it, it is. It's about living your dream life. It's about doing the thing, choosing that thing. You find your it factor. You, you're, you know your purpose and developing the dream life, whatever dream life is for you. And a lot of times, especially when we started, we found people didn't even know. And we would help them identify their it, the things they like to do. And one of the things that I, this is Marcia that I'm gifted at is finding a way, especially well, this is to monetize it. Some people can't even realize. Mm. I, I told somebody, somebody was being funny. They were heckling us doing one of our speeches, and I was telling them, I can help you find a way to do anything you want to do. Somebody said, well, I like to sleep. And I said, oh, really now? And I sat there and gave them three ways they could make money sleeping. And they were like, oh, my God. I said, see, I can really help you do you can You can really uh, live your dreams and be dreaming you while you design. You can design your life. And so take your dream. You, you design how you want your life to look like. Mm-hmm. We have designed what we want our life to look like. And we take exactly. steps towards our dream every single day. It hasn't fully, the dream hasn't finished. I hope it never finishes. But yeah. we're, we're, we're actually living it's like stepping back, like we're living the dream, we're doing it. And just imagine if we're doing this now, imagine what it's going to be at the end of this year. So right. we, we're dining on life. India Ari has a song that she said, if you create the rules, you can create the game. I mean, you create the game, you create the rules. So it's about creating your own game. You create your rules. And ultimately, our goal is my time is my time, and I can do with my time and my money what I want to do with it. That's right. All that's, right. That, that's and that's what we mean by dream architect. <laughs> I'm you're the architect. It. You're the designer of your own life. Right. You are the designer of your own life. I love it. I love it. What have people been saying um, that have participated in your vision boards in the past? And vision boards have now really seemed like they have exploded. Um, exploded. I don't know. Look like the last, you know, last six months or something. I don't know. I, I, but, I, I, I would agree know, with this, Charvette. She is so okay. Right. I've been noticing the last six months. I mean, we started out last year. It wasn't something new. But it wasn't yeah. like we doing a vision board tour. So we kind of like, yeah, we were one of the first ones on the tour. And I think it's great. So we want to pull back from that because, hey, people have taken up, taken up the reins and they're running with that. And I think it's a great thing um, that the vision board is it, it, really exploding. <laughs> so it really I is. I think it's a good thing. It really is. It really is. So if you have a vision board or you're thinking about doing one, now's the time to, to jump in it because there are resources all around uh, available to help you do that, to help you do that. All right, uh, ladies, tell me one more time, how can they connect with you individually as well as uh, the Pruitt Twins? Okay. Well, uh, Marcia, well, 
particularly, basically through our Facebook page uh, is the best way to connect with us, even individually. A lot of times when we're on there, we're, we're communicating as Marcia or Marla. And if you're looking just for me on Facebook, is my name. And I think Marla's her name as well. But the best way is the Pruitt Twins. And That's on right. Facebook, we're the Pruitt Twins. All of social media, we, we are the Pruitt Twins. Right. All right, there you go. I want to make sure you are able to connect with them. So one is married and one is single. Like just yes. one that I'm is trying single. To, try, I'm met, trying to manifest that girl a husband. <laughs> She's trying to manifest and match me. I tell you what, I, look, it's on my vision board, and 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 I and, and <laughs> it's on my vision board. I'm very specific. So and that's another thing about vision boards. Uh-huh. Very, very, very specific when you put something on there because you will get, if you believe and have faith, what you put on there, because I got it, but I had to go back to the drawing board and be more specific. <laughs> so and be more specific. <laughs> I love it. Now, wait a minute. The matchmaker, do you have any, like, uh, uh, matchmaking funny stories or blind date funny stories she's trying she's to send you on? She's a horrible matchmaker, so she ain't got <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute! She said horrible. I mean, that's so yeah. really like you couldn't work with them. You couldn't. You couldn't. She she is too picky, Charvin. We'll have to take this off out of because she is too picky. <laughs> I'm not all the stuff on her she's vision just, board. She's just not consistent. <laughs> Oh, no. Listen, yes, we does. have uh, a special series you can listen to uh, the second Tuesday in February. We're bringing back called The Men Confess, and it's a panel of men just talking about relationships. So maybe we'll have some tips for you there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Check back. Listen, we have uh, some tweeters that are those that are tweeting in. Uh, hashtag no X sign. So so blessed one. She just tweeted. Push past your quit. Thank you for listening. Uh, oh my goodness. At Miss Phenom. She put in. Thank you. What you got to push past quit. So that is connecting with people. That push past quit. That is connecting. Thank you, All Faith, right. a believer listening. Thank you so much. Uh, and Ramon out of Detroit. Thank you for listening as well. Just wanted to give them shout out. All right. So my last question for both of you to answer individually, the goal of my show is to motivate, excite, and influence. And I want to know what continues to motivate you. We'll start with Marla. What continues to motivate me is to see the ability to to see my life pan out the way that I'm designing it, to have the faith that and know, I know no matter what, that I am destined for, for, for my purpose and that and that it's real. I'm yeah. I'm kinda of rambling, but I just need people to understand don't give up. Don't give up. Wake up every day expecting a miracle. Wake up every day expecting a miracle and intend, set intentions for your day, and you can have what you say. You can have what you say. So you All think right, it, Marla. speak it until you believe it. Amen. I am in agreement with that. <laughs> Thank you. Marcia, what motivates you? What motivates me is, when people say I made a difference and oh, the yeah. fact that I am teaching my ch- – I'm leaving a legacy to my children. Oh, you got yourself they, so much better. And oh, they – and they, oh, my God. And they see it. I have a five-year-old. And uh, yes. I see him, sometimes he'll come up to me and read some things that I say or I'll mm-hmm. say some, something that's not life-affirming, and he will correct me. Right. That motivates me. Because what they say in the church, my living is not in vain. And That's to know right. that I am leaving an impact on this world and I will yes. die empty. I will die empty. And yes. so no matter when I leave, I will die empty. And it just excites me. Like it's, 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 it's really touching me right now when I say it. It's just really, I just love life. I love, I love life. And I'm excited to be awesome. able to live it to the fullest. Wonderful. Well, well so said, both of you. Life. <laughs> Both of you well said. I'm just excited that you uh, were able to stop by the virtual studio, help us kick off 2015 season, yeah. uh, and we are just going to keep our eye out for what you are doing and everything that you all have coming up, and thank you for stopping by. Thank you, Charvet. You are awesome. Thank you. Yeah, extremely. Uh, you are welcome. You are welcome. Thank you. 
All right, listeners, I'm telling you what, it's almost a wrap for today's show. We started out the top of the hour talking to gospel artist Brittany Wright. Definitely keep your eye and your ear on her for her upcoming project to be released very shortly. Uh, Fight for you, hashtag fight for you. And then certainly we wrapped up in our second segment here with the dynamic Pruitt Twins. The Pruitt Twins. I've tagged them on Facebook uh, and, and Twitter. Follow all of our guests. Thank you for those that are retweeting all of the good, the wisdom nuggets that were shared. Uh, we appreciate you. As always, make sure you check us out here every single week, same time, same place. Uh, we have some phenomenal shows that are coming up. We will be talking to Cora Jakes, uh, Cora Jakes, uh, Bishop Jakes' daughter. She's going to be coming up uh, talking to us in two weeks. We're excited to have her. We have the relationship series that's going to be coming back. Uh, so we had a lot of stuff planned for you for 2015. And we hope, we hope that you are certainly along for the ride. We appreciate you. And catch me at Charvette.com. Tweet me at Charvette or Facebook, Charvette. See you later. Live from Richmond, Virginia, you have been listening to the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. Connect with her at Charvette.com. And until next week, stay motivated, excited, and influenced. The Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. Signing off.